Hello everyone, we are back with some Sega Mega Drive classics. I'm going to be showcasing some hacks. I'm going to tell you the main focus of the hacks and give you my thoughts. I'll also report any of the bugs that I found while playing these hacks if I found any. So with these hacks, I don't know exactly who the authors are since credits are often not given in the Steam Workshop. It's usually just the name of the person who uploaded the file. Sometimes they put credits in the description though. So the first game up is called Sonic Project True Finish. This one is actually made by Shills. The same person who made the hack actually uploaded it to Steam Workshop as well. So this is going to change Green Hill Zones Act 1 and 2. The first act is done. However, the second act isn't finished, but you could still complete it. So <laughs> let me start off by saying I hate bottomless pits, especially when they are so common in the first zone of a game. That is present in this one. As soon as I started this stage, I ran a few steps and then fell into a pit, mostly because of this oddly placed spring on the very edge of this platform. This type of item placement is present throughout the stage, so I didn't really go too fast out of fear that I would just fall into another pit. So uh, once you finish Act 2, you will be placed in the normal Green Hill Zone Act 3. The hack basically ends here, so I pretty much just stopped after that. The author said that they never finished this hack because they lacked the necessary knowledge with the level editor. So the next hack is called Sonic 2 Easy Mode and it is made by DN4K. This hack, uh, it does exactly what it says it does. It's going to make the game noticeably easier. The stages have platforms to help you reach difficult areas. Hazards have been removed like, you know, spikes and uh, some areas that will have you fall into pits. Also, some other objects are removed, like that spring at the end of the Emerald Hill Act 1. The area in Chemical Plant Zone where the water rises and you have to jump on those moving boxes. I know a lot of people hate that area. That part, for the most part, it's completely gone. It's just the boxes are removed and it's just a spring to launch you through that area. And uh, even the bottomless pits in the Chemical Plant Zone boss fight, they are also gone. So, uh, <laughs> I had went ahead and tried to go to the death egg zone, and over there it's also modified. You can fight Silver Sonic with six rings, and once you beat him, there's a set of speed shoes and over 50 rings uh, that you can collect when you go to fight Eggman and his giant robot. So, uh, pretty much you could just go Super Sonic and fight him from there. So overall, I think that this is a good hack. It's something for people who may have interest in the game, but just find it too difficult to complete. Next is Air Dash in Sonic 3, which initially sounds good. Air Dash and 2D Sonic hacks usually result in high speed and lots of fun. But in this hack, not so much. Sonic can do his Air Dash as stated in the game's title, but it comes with some limitations. The first problem is this hack makes the Insta Shield almost useless since Sonic's Air Dash covers all three of the buttons. It's basically a trade off. Sonic will still do his Insta Shield when doing the Air Dash, but since you always have to propel forward, it's just not going to be very good. The second problem is the Air Dash becomes unavailable if you have a shield. So, um,. As for how the air dash performs, it's almost the same as when you use the fire shield ability, although it feels a bit slower. Honestly, I didn't really enjoy this one. I feel the insta shield is just too good to give up, and the air dash isn't as powerful as it is in other hacks. If there was a way to just have it so that the air dash worked with one button and the insta shield worked with another, this one would have been much better. So that's going to do it for me. Those were some hacks that I had in my subscription feed on the Steam Workshop. I wanted to try to cover these before I uninstalled them. So I will try to provide the links below in the description. 
And uh, I thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time.